Friends, we have come today at the invitation of Morgan Sherrier and Brock Bivens to share the joy of their wedding. Our lives find completion only as we love and are loved in return. Together, we can become what we could never be separately. Marriage is of God. When I was writing these, I kept trying to pinpoint the exact moment I knew I loved you. Many moments filled my head. The first time you told me about Hadley and what being a dad meant to you. I've known Morgan for almost 10 years. We met at Rain, where we worked together for most of that time. And Brock is my brother, and I think you see where I'm going with this. We wouldn't be here without me today, so everybody's super welcome. I've heard my whole life that the person you're meant to fall in love with will appear when you least expect it. When I was down and out, at my lowest point, there you were. You are everything I didn't know I was dreaming of and everything I was told to wait for. I know I speak for everyone in this room when I say that I am so unbelievably glad you two waited for each other. You're the house to each other's whole, the balance that each other needs, and the mirror to your partner that shows each other who you truly are and the type of love you truly deserve. I, Brock, stand here ready to take you, Morgan, to be my wife, my best friend, and my lifelong partner in our marriage and all adventures we embark on from here until forever. Before I met you, I never believed true love existed. As an adult, I've seen his walls up more than I've seen them down. But since Morgan came into your life, it's like those walls never existed. You smile so freely and you're truly you. I know the heartache that you both have been through and the broken roads you both travel. But those roads are what led your paths to cross. You wouldn't have found each other without the trials and the troubles. You bring out the best in each other, and I can say knowing you both, that I've never seen either of you happier. It was something that I had never truly experienced, then one day you came into my life and forever bettered it. All the walls, fences I've put up for so long came crumbling down that first night. You have brought out the best in me. Marriage to me means that no matter what life throws our way, we will face it together. The day I met your dad, it was no secret that you were his whole world. Today I promised to love your dad unconditionally, and I knew when I gave him my heart I was giving a piece of it to you. As I was falling in love with your dad, I was falling in love with you. Today I gifted you a necklace with my birth stone and your birth flower with a message to my bonus daughter. I might not have given you the gift of life, but life gave me the gift of you. I love you. <laughs> Brock, I can't stand here and promise I will rinse the kitchen sink after every time I use it. Or that I'll bring my coffee cup inside every day. Let's be real, it's gonna sit in that car for seven to 10 days. <laughs> But today I promise to choose you. It was almost three years ago that we sat at that bar top for close to five hours. Every second was filled with conversation. We shared our hearts and souls with one another. It was when you got up from that bar that I texted my mom and sisters and I said, I'm going to marry this man. Together we will build a love that stands the test of time. Forever I vow to keep your feet to the road to love you unconditionally, to give you my best in marriage and in fatherhood. I vow to be yours truly, faithfully, for the rest of our lives. I pledge to hold our vows dear to my heart for the rest of my life. My love for you is endless, Brock Jace, my sun and stars. As a great man once said, this, this is, is the way. way. <laughs> I love you. I love you, Morgan, and I always will. <laughs> Therefore, I pronounce that you are husband and wife. May God bless.
bless you and keep you and give you his peace. Amen. What God has joined together, let man not separate. Rock, you may kiss your bride. Every mile, every mile <laughs> on my mind leads to you. It leads to you. Every mile, every mile on my path leads to you. It leads to you. I'm not around, but I'm not gone. I miss the bed you're sleeping on. I'm a thousand miles from coziness, thousand miles from you. written to help parents understand their middle child. <laughs> now, I, I can assure you that Jody and I have never needed any of those books. Our middle child has always been the one who held our family together. She's the family mediator, moderator. She is the family counselor. She's the family nurse and the family comedian. Morgan fiercely defends her sisters and her friends. I'm sure you all know that well. Morgan now has a new and growing family to pour her heart into, and we are blessed to be here to witness her future. To Morgan and Brock. Here, here, here.